We're continuing to track some of those light showers for our northwestern counties this evening. Not tracking anything severe, not even seeing any thunderstorms. It's purely just some light rain showers. So if you're in Sparta near Pinckneyville, even to coin or even just east there of Marion near Harrisburg, seeing some of that rain right now. But again, good news is not tracking anything severe. Parts of southeast Missouri, though, like Poplar Bluff, actually seeing some blue skies finally beginning to peak through. Temperatures are much warmer, though, because of that. So 87 right now for their current temperature. Bit of a breeze out of the south, so it's also why they're seeing a bit warmer, at least as far as those temperatures go. But across the board, some of us, especially those those areas that are seeing rain right now already dropping into the 70s, upper 70s for Carbondale and Harrisburg, 77 in Sparta. But then if we travel just down to the South Union City at 86, Kennet at 88, Sykeston also at 86. Those areas that are starting to see some of those blue skies peek through, they're not tracking any of the light rain. It's also where we're seeing the higher heat indices, feeling like the low 90s for parts of southeastern Missouri. Over the next couple of hours, we'll hold on to those 80s after sunset falling consistently into the 70s, overnight lows into the mid 60s. A couple of those isolated showers for our western counties continue to be possible for this evening and then into parts of southern Illinois as well. For Tuesday, those scattered storms do stay with us, especially on the western side. And then in the midweek, we really start to see flooding becoming a concern. We've got a lot of widespread rain that just stays over us for a period of time. Still tracking some clouds, a couple chances for that rain overnight tonight. This is a look for Tuesday morning. Temperatures close to 60 for some areas by 8 o'clock, though we start to see more of that rain move in, but it really just stays over southeastern Missouri, really just west of uh, Cape Girardeau, Sykeson, and then even parts of the Boot Hill. By the end of tomorrow, we are mostly dry. We get that nice break and then the rain comes right back for Wednesday. Here's a look at that setup. So we've got the heat dome still in place. It was over the southwest, now moving east right over Texas. It's building in that ridge right over our area. And because of that, along the end of that ridge or edge of that ridge, we start to see those storm chances be possible for us here at home. And they really stay with us all the way through the weekend, Wednesday being that best chance for some widespread showers and storms. But Thursday also looking pretty wet as well. Here's a rainfall forecast over the next five days, seeing those highest amounts, unfortunately, over areas that were pretty hard hit recently, like parts of southern Illinois, western Kentucky, tracking about two to three, maybe even close to five inches of rain there just off to our north. Again, flooding threat really going to be a concern. We've got the medium flood threat for almost everyone, extending from Mount Vernon down towards Union City, almost to Poplar Bluff. Storm Track 3 app will come in very handy in case we do get any of those flooding alerts. It's a great way to kind of stay in the know. We've got those showers and storms possible for Tuesday. Really off to the west, though, as far as Wednesday goes, still tracking the chance for some scattered storms. I also think that's our best bet to see some of those rain and storms. Uh, the chance for Thursday also continuing to go up as far as the rain goes, just kind of stays over us. Isolated storms expected into the weekend as well, but at least it's just an isolated chance and temperatures are staying much cooler now thanks to all of those rain chances. Yeah, you mentioned the Storm Track 3 app. I mm -hmm. use it all the time. I love it when like between uh, mm -hmm. weathercasts, you can check and look at radar and see what's coming at you. I use it all the time too. All right. Thank you, Katie.